If you were wondering, those guys don't live there. Don't bother calling the police. They hardly ever come in time, at least not in this neighborhood. But it wasn't always like this. This used to be a pretty good neighborhood. It really was. But after the plant closed, well, some who were lucky enough to get out got out. And the rest of us, well, you can see what we have to go through. It's something different every single night. If all this crime keeps going on, there will be no one left to commit crimes to. What this neighborhood needs is a miracle. Someone or something to breathe life back into this community. Someone extraordinary. Well, thank God for the little things. At least they didn't take the cat. Oh. nervous condition. You know that. Look, man, what you doing here anyway? Same thing you doing up in here. Breaking into the church. I ain't breaking into no church. What? You keep your voice down. I ain't breaking into no church. God, I ain't breaking into no church. I don't know what this ball hit me. Tell me I'm breaking into no church. So what you doing here then, huh? Look, man, I am stealing from an almost abandoned building, okay? This church technically is, is closed, okay? Nobody down there moved this church down into the boulevard, man. What you talking about? Look, it's a cross on the front door. It's a church. You stealing from a church, fool. Then in that case, I'm out. Where you going, Turbo? You know I can't let you leave. What are you talking about, Bishop? You know I got to be home at a certain time, and I got to curfew. My mama be tripping. Man, everybody know you a snitch, Satch. Man, you quit talking people snitching around here. That's too loud the way you speak, and you better cut that down. You don't know who up around here. You talking about snitching, you get killed, boy. Snitching. Get crazy. You sound crazy saying it, matter of fact. Put your mask on. Huh? Put your mask on. Hello? Is somebody back there? It's just some old lady. This! This is me! Oh, this is... Paige Robinson, do you have any idea what time it is? And what did I tell you about slamming my door? Satchel? Baby? What's the matter? I can't breathe, Mama. I can't breathe. Oh, you just out of shape. Now, come on, tell Mama what's really wrong. What is it? Nothing, Mama. I, I'm sorry for slamming your door, okay? And I'm sorry for coming in your house late. All right, Mama, can I please be excused? I'm tired. Go on, boy, and pull your pants up. Yes, ma'am. And clean up that nasty room tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Mom. What? Where the TV? Uh, what? Mom. They got robbed. They got us. Mama, where Mr. Butterfield? Not my kid. Ah! Here's Butterfield. Here's 
And then what happened, ma'am? I got this. I'm handling it just fine. Not really, no. You gotta stop undermining me in front of witnesses. I'm not undermining you. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Excuse me, are you, are you two all right? We're, We're fine. fine. All right, I'll just... Fine. You take lead. Fine. I will. What happened next, ma'am? That's all I remember. It happened so fast. I, I just came here to get pastor's old Bible. I felt we should have it with us at the new church. You know, that's all. I, I didn't mean to cause all oh, this. Grandma, Grandma, it's okay. It's not your fault. Ma'am, you were the first person to actually see this guy. This might be the guy has been burglarizing all the churches in this community. Look, it, it, please, if she says that's all she knows, that's all she knows. This guy has to be stopped. He could have hurt her tonight. Yeah, I, I realize it's tragic. No, but no, no. Is... I know what you're going to say, Pastor, but she's our first real lead. I need to ask her a few more questions. You mean we? Yeah, we. Didn't I say we? What'd I say? You said I. Well, I'm not. All right, look, 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 she's tired. Couldn't you please just come back tomorrow? I understand. I... We just need to ask her a few more questions for the report. I'm not even sure she, she wants to prosecute. Is this true? Oh, she's gonna prosecute. Right, Grandma? I, I, I Grandma. just want to put this all behind me. God, send me through this. Grandma, God brought the detectives here. Yeah, yeah, K Karen. Karen, please. Um, can I please have a, a word with you? Yeah, yeah, just a minute. Yeah. We'll be just a second. Listen, um... We just closed the church. Mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, we're actually selling the building in a few days. Yeah, I'll speak to Miss April. <laughs> I'm sure this won't go any further. She, she's scared, and we, we, we just want to put the whole thing behind us. Getting out of Dodge, huh, Pastor? Can't say I blame you. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's not like that at all. It's just not a sight out of mind. Hey, I get it. Titan Realty's buying everyone out around here. Businesses are selling off left and right. I can't say I blame them either. Miss mm -hmm. April, is she okay? Oh yeah, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She's just a little shaken. I'll uh, we'll be in touch. Wait, you're leaving? Did you catch the guy? I want this guy as bad as anyone. We're doing the best we can. Well, then catch him then. Well, she decides she wants to press charges. You know where to reach me. Us. Wait, 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 wait. She's not pressing charges. What's this guy talking about? Well, someone's gotta do something. Just this gonna be okay. I'm I need a sign, Lord. I need a sign, Lord, so bad. Pastor Shirley, community organizer. Guess a card will do. You work fast. I know you're in there, I can hear you snoring. I can hear you in there. Open up. What is it? What's that? 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 What's that?
boss wants his money, Shirley. I got your money. I got your boss's money. Okay. You take food stamps? Food stamps. We take cash. Not even a Russell Simmons prepaid call. Look, Shirley, I like you. I always have. But I will come in there. No, no, no. Don't come in here. I am not dressed, Vinny. Now, look, I know what you did to Annie Mae. Had her out there in the courtyard, butt naked, two broke arms, and a scowl. You ain't gonna do me like that, Vinny. We done been through too much together. Just let her put some clothes on. Let me catch my breath. Let me put some clothes on. Three minutes, Cheryl. Ten minutes. Two minutes, 45 seconds, and counting. Oh, come on. I need at least ten minutes. I gotta do, I gotta do church stuff. Church stuff, Vinny. I gotta do some church stuff. That means I gotta get on my knees. I gotta pray. Or sometimes I even like to do, um, praise dancing. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. Look, Shirley, you won't be the first preacher whose arms I had to break. Okay, seven minutes. I'll be out there in seven minutes. But come on, Lord. You're gonna have to pray with me now. Get on your knees. Get on your hands and knees, Vinny. Two and minutes. please. And counting. Pastor Shirley speaking? Yes, Pastor Shirley. I said it was Pastor Shirley when I answered the phone. I said to Pastor Shirley. Now, what is it and who is this? Yes, 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 yes! I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Yes, yes. Just text me the address, mm -hmm, and we'll handle the details when I get there. God bless you. Mm. Oh, Lord. Ooh, you may not always come on a call, but you're always right on time. Ooh. One minute, Shirley. Oh, oh, Lord, have a mercy. Shirley? Oh, okay. Shirley, where are you? Ah, oh, Shirley. Oh, hey, boss. Yeah, boss, I think we got a problem. Did you hear something? No, I don't hear anything. <laughs> I could have sworn I heard something. Not a thing, Pastor. Jason? What's wrong? Been out pounding the pavement trying to pass out these flyers, but not getting a good response. How many have you passed out? Nine. Couldn't pass and modify tape Beyonce tickets to the back of them. <laughs> Maybe you should try Adele. Jason, listen, man, I need you in here. Making sure that everything is boxed up instead of being out there doing whatever it is you're doing. Look, it's called outreach, Uncle Chris. That's what the church is supposed to be doing, reaching out to our congregation. Well, in case you haven't noticed, the congregation has been long gone. Matter of fact, they haven't been here in a long time. You know, somebody should do something about that. What do you think I'm doing? Let me tell you something. You have no idea how difficult it's been just to get Titan Realty to, to, to be interested in any property in this area. Now we, we are revitalizing the community. Yeah, but without the people. Everyone's being forced out. What's gonna be left to revitalize? Jason, things change. We've been over this a million times. Let it go. It just feels like the decision is being forced upon us. Just like the guns are being forced on my grandmother's face? Or those thugs forcing themselves into people's cars and homes? Karen, we used to love this place. I can't imagine this place without you. I can't. I mean... I, I can't. Look, look, I can't keep living like this here. It's crazy out here. Yeah. All right, 
All right, you two lovebirds, give it a rest. Oh, she's Please not my not girlfriend. My now listen, in a couple of weeks, this place is gonna be a parking lot, all right? Now, if you'll excuse me, we have a meeting to attend. Look, I'll catch up. I promised Miss April that I grabbed my daddy's Bible. It's in one of the boxes in the office. All right. Don't take too long. We have much to discuss. Jason, son, look, one day, the business of Mount Pleasant is gonna be yours. Now, it'd be nice if you, you got your head out of the clouds and, and joined the rest of us here on Earth on our march to prosperity. Karen, it's, uh, it's time to go. Right behind you, Pastor. Jesus like to scare me out of my skin. Is this Mount Pleasant? Yes, how can I help you? How can you help me? Let me show you. It's, what's up, Dan? Oh, no, this is 6th Street. This is 1717 6th Street. Yeah, I know that now. But I got some faulty information. I had to stop and ask the man at the gas station. He didn't know. So I asked the lady at the bus stop. She didn't know. Had to ask the Pakistani at the 7 Lem. He didn't even know English. If it wasn't for that refined homeless girl and the crackhead living out back of the church, I'd have drove right past this place again and again and again. Oh, OK, 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 OK. Fine. Now, how may I assist you? Honey, I think you got it twisted. You called me. I'm Pastor Shirley. How may I assist you? Wait, you, you're Pastor Shirley, the Pastor Shirley? Church. From the business card, Pastor Shirley. Well. You're a pastor. I'm Pastor Shirley. Pastor with a capital P and an early. What's it to you, homeboy? Uh, 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 nothing at all. I just, um, we barely spoke on the phone yesterday. I didn't think you'd show up. Uh, I just didn't know what to expect, that's all. John 7, 24. Judge not by the appearance, but judge by righteous judgment. So take it all in. Mm-hmm, take it all in, because I am all here, and Lord, it looks like I'm right on time. Good Lord, this place is a mess. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, nothing. I can't tell if this is a church or a morgue. There's no life in here. And I need to live in a church. You got to live. Ooh, over here's a little life, little life. Wait. You know what you need to do? Wait a minute. Oh, oh, I feel it over here. Oh, the spirit. Oh, 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 let me live. Let me live over here. Oh, that's, oh, that's true. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh, child, so I'm so sorry. Ooh, it was a scary thing. Here, sit down, sit. Wait, yeah, right I'll here. Just, oh, I'm just gonna... Right, right, no, okay. I'll be right here. All right, all right, you all right? Uh, yeah. 
Listen, the, the church is closed. Closed? Oh, oh, I hit you. I'm so sorry. Closed. Yeah, yeah. The, what is it you're trying to tell me? Someone's baby? buying the building. Buying the building? Then why is that? We have to have the whole thing cleared out by next week. Then why'd you call me? Because I was desperate. R really desperate. Look, this church, this whole neighborhood is all I've ever known. My father was a pastor here before me. I said on your card that you're a community organizer. I thought that maybe you could help me, I don't know, oh, organize the community. Right. It sure did. I put them community organized things like that at the top. Nope. At the top, I put Pastor Shirley. Because as a woman of God, a pastor is first and foremost what I am. And honey, I think you're looking at this all wrong. But I am? Of course you are. See, to turn a neighborhood around, the church has to be the foundation. God must be at the center of everything you do. Yeah, I, I know that. Well, then you gotta live it. Let me go Bible. You look so good holding. Bet it belonged to your daddy, didn't it? And I bet you he instilled in you to do what's right. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. Then why in heaven's name are you leaving? Well, it's kind of my uncle's church now, and him and I don't see things eye to eye, so... Plus, it's kind of a... Excuse me. You know this guy? Will you slow down? I caught him going through the car parked out front. Wait a minute, that's my car parked out front. See, that's my aunt. Aunt? Do I look like I'm old enough to be somebody's auntie? Uh, see, didn't let me finish. That's my aunt's daughter. Okay, so that make her my cousin. <laughs> I'm sweet, sexy, fine cousin off the chain. Look at that, how she just put her hand on the hip. That's sex appeal, all of that. Is this true? The very fine sexy part. Yeah, he's my cousin. A very distant cousin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been seeing him hanging out in front of the liquor store every single morning. And I didn't know that your mom had a sister. In fact... In fact, he's my cousin on our father's side. You know my daddy? No, do you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Look, officers, he's my cousin. That's why he was fishing around my car looking suspicious. I told him I'd give him a ride home. And he promised he was going to go home and stay in the house for the rest of the evening. Ain't that right, cuz? Right, right. See, my mom said I could stay out till the streetlights come on. You know what? I... <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, officers, thank you for everything you do for this community. Well, just doing my job here. Our... So job our job right never can be too sure ma'am we've been dealing with a rash of crime lately <laughs> oh well better than a rash on your <laughs> <laughs> you know, just a little joke lady officer lady officer well y'all look good doing your job y'all look good together y'all like a little kodak moment cute 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 <laughs> well if you need to reach me, here's my car. Oh, all right, I got cars too. Yes, I invested in some cars. Yeah, I definitely did for my massage and business <coughs> stuff. And here somewhere, wait a minute. Oops, no, this is my water bill. I put that back in there. I don't know why it's there. I still got to use some water. Wait a minute. Oh, here they go. Got them, got them, got them. One for you and one for you. Give my stuff back. Oh, thank you, thank you. They clean, they clean. Don't worry about it. Can yeah, I take this back to? Oh, it's me at the Grand Canyon. You don't want to know about that. So, thank you. Again, well, you, uh, if you need anything, just let me know. I will. Yeah. I will. Bye. Yeah. Officers, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Look, lady, you didn't have to do that, okay? But I really appreciate it. And I owe you big time. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. Big time. Hey, you live around here? Yeah, yeah. Huh, who, who, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> My, uh, yeah, no. Come on, uh, we'll, uh, we'll take you home. <sighs> uh, <clears throat> nah, 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 I can't do that, detective. Can't do that, I'm sorry. You know, y'all you, you, get my hood car revoked, and uh, I just not getting in no cop car. I, I, no, just can't do that. It's not happening today, no sorry. You I know just what? Can't. Actually, I got something to do. I think it would be best if y'all go on and give him a ride home. He'd love a ride home, wouldn't you, cuz? 
Oh, no, 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 look, I'm not getting into no cop. Oh, you getting no button that cop car. I'm just ain't finna get no cop I'm gonna let you in there right now. Oh, you got your button that cop car. they gotta take me to jail, man. That's what they gonna have to do. Stuck you up by the DMS at a traffic stop. I don't know what you're proud of me. Do what you need to find Jesus. I don't want your lost rights in your drawers and the closet and the cabinet or something. But you gonna find him, my little brother, cause you got ice shoes. And don't make me take out my lead pipe and knock you upside your head in the lost house. Get your button that cop car now. Yes, ma'am. Oh, damn. I see you on the car. Wait a minute. Now, what do you say to nice officers who offer to give you a ride home without putting handcuffs on you first? Let's go, man. <gasps> That's right. Thank you, officers. Come on! Oh. Got your number right here. Oops. Here. Are you done yet? To save some souls. Pastor Shirley, why don't you come with me? That's okay. right, right behind come you, cutie pie. All right, right this way. What's in there? Wipe your feet. Satchel, really? What did I tell you about bringing home company unannounced? Mama, this ain't company. Uh, I'm Detective Michaels, and... This is Detective Grace. What do you do? What you do? Nothing! You did something. Satchel DePage Robinson, you are in trouble now. What I tell you about bringing the police to Mama, my listen house? listen to me, Ma. I didn't do The that. police don't come to your house for nothing. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, but I didn't do nothing, Mama. I'm... Get in that room and put on your pajamas. You are so grounded. What? <laughs> Oh, we'll, we'll show ourselves out. Huh? Pajamas. Y'all just gonna leave me here? Huh? Y'all gonna leave me here right by myself? Miguel! Man, y'all supposed to protect and serve. And right now, I am in danger and I don't feel protected. But you about to get served. <laughs> get your butt in that room. Mama, don't do that, please. No, I didn't do that. I did for real. Wait a minute. Give me that. What is that you got? What this? Let me see that. Uh, Give me that. What this? This. <laughs> Pastor Shirley, community activist, and masseuse. Hmm. Well, you make sure you give Pastor Shirley a call after I get through whooping your tail. Because when I'm done, I'm the one going to need a massage. I'm getting a whooping, mama. I'm 25 years old. I'm too grown for this shit. Boy, <laughs> Right, right this way, right this way, yeah. I um, I think I made a big mistake. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just going to uh, pay you for your time. Hold up, hold up. Now, I did not come here for you. I came here for a bigger purpose. Oh, really? What's that? Well, I don't know yet. Because you weren't here more than five minutes before your car was broken into. Oh, honey, please. That child is harmless. He's a criminal. Criminal? I seen stale Twinkies harder than that one. Really? You can tell just by looking at someone. Yeah, pretty much most times. Most times? This sounds like a foolproof formula. Honey, there is no foolproof formula. Let me tell you what a foolproof formula is. You being in this church. That means you have the advantage. Now, that little boy came in here and he asked for help because he needed help. And as long as I work for God, I will make sure he receives that help. Okay, you're right, all right? And I admire your passion, really. But we started this whole process too late. Oh. We waited too long to start fighting. Child, you know what? When you called me, I was in the middle of something really, really serious. I mean, your call really might have saved my life. You help me. Please, let me help you. Okay, fine. So what is it that you even do? Okay, that's more like it. Now, usually when my clients call, I pick up the phone and then I say, hello, this is Mr. Shirley Pastor. No, I usually say Pastor Shirley, not Mr. Shirley Pastor. Then they say, ooh, you have a nice voice. So you don't even know what you do, do you? No, not really. But I know I am a, uh, um, things. I'm a masseuse. Yeah, that too. But some, we get V. Then a vampire. No, no, Vagabar. not that. No, no, no. That no. V. Give me V. 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 Vessel. Vessel. That's the one. I'm a vessel for the Lord, baby. Well, look here, vessel. Okay, I'm extremely late for a meeting. So can we talk about this some other time? Where are you staying? 
You don't even know where you're staying, do you? Hey, I heard desperation in your voice. You the one called me sounding all crazy. I just whipped up everything, came right away. I, I'm the one sweating. All right, fine, fine. Okay, listen, there's a hotel about five miles from here. I'll put you up there for a night, and then we'll work something out tomorrow. No, I don't like hotels. It's too easily accessible. People might see my car. I'm thinking more like, um... The hotel seems pretty safe. No, I think I think I want to stay here. This is a safe place to stay. Oh, hitting here? No, you, you can't stay here. Okay, it, this place is closed, and it's not safe huh? here. Child, not safe? I never thought the day would come where I'd hear a man of God utter those words. That the house of God was not safe. I know, but you don't understand. No, baby, you don't understand my God. All right, you're right. Okay, I don't even know what I'm thinking, okay? There's, <laughs> there's a bed. I'll bring a bed in here. There's there a refrigerator. Go. It's fully stocked. There's Ooh. a kitchen. There's a closet you can hang stuff up in that. Is that fine, okay? Yes. You'll be here for a while. I'll go to my meeting. Then yes. we'll come back tonight, and we'll talk about it, okay? Yes, yes, yes. All go right. on. Go on and fight. Fight. You're finally starting to fight. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. It's okay, baby. It's okay. You're finally fighting. We'll see. We'll see. You go on to your meeting. You handle your business. You surely got your back. All right. Thank you. We gonna fight! All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Excuse. I know you may not. Remember, you grounded. You stand your butt right there. I also didn't know gangsters believed in dramatic irony. Dramatic irony? What is that? You see gangster, we see lollipop. <laughs> so you the masseuse everybody been talking about. You any good? Yeah, I'm very good. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, now let me see. So... Your phone call said you were having pain in your neck and your shoulders. Right here. Neck and your shoulders. Hmm. The old articulation humility. In my experiences, I'm sorry, what'd you say your name was again? Uh, Verlene. Miss Verlene. In my experiences, Pain in the clavicle, cervical, humerus, and scapula bones and their associated ligaments, tendons, and muscles is usually due to stress. Are you experiencing any unusual stressors in your life? Boy, ah! Ah! Boy get your scary self back up. Now, what were you saying, baby? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Stress. Do you have any stress in your life, Miss Berlin? Well, no more than anybody else around here. Look, my mama heart don't pump no Kool-Aid, Miss Lady. All right? She ain't afraid of nothing. Hey, Mom. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. I don't think that's the truth, is it? Mm-mm, is it, Miss Verlene? Talk to me. Talk to me now. Talk to Pastor Shirley. I see it all in your face. A woman's know when another woman's is experiencing pain, don't we? Is he your only child? No. I had another son, Kenny. Had? He died 16 years ago on the front porch. I remember it like it was yesterday. 
broad daylight on a Sunday morning. They took my baby as we were going to church. <laughs> and to answer your question, yeah, I get scared. I get scared every day. Every day Satchel steps out that door. Ma'am, what you think's gonna happen to him out there? You don't know what it's like for these boys out there. If they not going to jail, they dying, I mean, it's hell out there. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Revelation. When you focus on Jesus, you can walk through that lake of fire with your head held high. Where was Jesus when they killed my son, huh? Look, lady, you gonna give my mama a massage? Boy, shut up. Jesus is always there. Now we may not understand why he does some of the terrible things he does to us in our lives, but that does not negate or destroy the fact, the truth, that Jesus is our Lord and Savior, the great I am. trying to slow it down the spirit is moving in me i got something on my heart that i got to say can i can you let it live can i say it to you miss verlene can i talk to you say what you have to say miss verlene you are a good woman you are a god fearing good woman and you are a good mother so good so cautious so loving that you forgot to let go of the son that you have because you were forced to let go of the son that you lost but you got to let them go let them both go you got to let him go and you got to let him go now let him go so he can show you how good a mother you are not only to him but also to Kenny who now lives through him boom mama boom tell me talk to you boom let them go Satchel do you think your mother smothers you? Answer the question. Huh? Do you think I smother you? Well, I don't care what you think or whether anybody thinks. It's dangerous out there, Pastor Shirley. And I'm not losing another son to gun violence. We got to do what we got to do to survive. Whatever it takes, we got to survive. Look, Ma, I'm tired of surviving. I want to live. Sit your butt down somewhere. No, Ma. Satchel DePage Robinson, if you don't sit. Ma! Look, I love you, okay? I do. But enough is enough. Look at me. Look. I look like a big old ghetto version of Honey, I Blew Up the Kids. How dare you talk to me like that? <sighs> 25 years old. I gotta wait on my mama to go to sleep to watch Al Pacino. Huh? I love Al Pacino movies. Hoo ah! Scent of a Woman. It's a great movie, Ma. I loved it. I even love the recruit. I can't believe you talking to me like this. Look, Ma. You did a good job raising me, all right? I know I might do some, some good and some bad here, but at the end of the day, it's not your fault. It's not. Just like when Kenny died. It's not your fault. No one blames you, Ma. I do. I blame myself every single day. Well, you shouldn't, Ma. All right? Look, you took care of me all my life. Now let me be the man in so you a man now? Yes, I am. I am a man now, Mom. So can you please ease up on my groundings so I can go handle things around here? You got to let it go! Let it go! Let it go! Let it go! Let it go!
You the man of the house, son. You the man of the house. I feel like a, such a weight has been lifted off me. Well, my work is done. You're not going to feel the pain in my mom's neck? No, it's okay, Satchel. It's okay. Really, I feel better than I felt in such a long time. Oh. Then I'll be going. Look, if there's anything you ever need, anything I could do for you, you let me know here. Well, now that you mention it, we really could use a strong woman like you over at the church. Pajama boy over here knows where it is. <laughs> We'll be seeing you. Thank you, Pastor Shirley. Bye-bye. <sighs> Al Pacino, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got The Godfather and the DVD in my room right now. You want to watch it? Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. I think I'll take a large with the works. Mm-hmm, everything. Anchovies, too. And a 20-ounce liter bottle of Diet Coke. Because I'm on a diet. That's right. Oh, that's 1717 6th Street. Okay, what you mean the other side of town? You right around the corner. Now, you are the third pizza delivery place that I've called that claims to deliver but won't deliver. Oh, well, I guess a parent shouldn't have to lose their child over a pizza. All right, well, will you at least accept credit cards? Fine, then I'll come pick it up. Now, I'm going to need to put $575 on my Visa. I can do $392 on my MasterCard, and then the rest on my American Express. Oh, and, and I've got $5 left on my Target gift card. He can use that as a tip. I'll explain it to you when I get there. Stop if I catch up. Thank you. Lord, when did Chinese people start making pizza? And when did pizza delivery man become a suicide mission? Yeah, this is Vinny. Hey, boss. I was just going through a room, you know, trying to find a clue about, about where she may have gone. Yeah. Yeah, I can shut up, sir. Yes, sir, I'm listening. 1717 Fifth Street. But how did you get... Okay. Yeah, I'm shutting up again, sir. Yes, boss. You know, she used this address to order a pizza. Credit cards. Got it. I'm on my way. Shirley, those credit cards are going to be the death of you. Girl, what are you doing out there in them streets in the middle of the night by yourself? I, I, I really don't want to be no trouble. Trouble? Trouble is what's out there in the middle of them streets when you're by yourself at night. Sit yourself down. What? Nope, hold on. Wait a minute. Before you take a seat up in this church. I don't know, this ain't my church, so. Go on. Now tell me about it. Wait a minute. I live by baby house. Let me see what's going on up here. Will you be still? It's okay. Good Lord. I really should be going. Going? Going where? Hey, you're the girl who helped me find this place, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Look, you helped me. Let me help you. Wipe some of this dirt. Oh, my goodness. What a pretty baby. Honey, what on earth are you doing out there living in them streets anyway? I, I really, really should be going. All right. Where are we going? I'll take you there. Where are we going to go? To the morgue? Because that's where you're going to end up. You keep living out there in them streets. Oh, 
dorm room, parents' house. You know what? I'm not going to sit here playing no boyfriend. That's what it is. Boyfriend. Always a man, isn't it? I swear. What'd he do? Why'd you give him the air? I know he did something they always do, don't they? Come on. Let mama live vicariously through your 20, 22, 22? 22, 22 year old love saga. <sighs> You're safe. You're safe. Come on. Quincy. Quincy, what's his name? Quincy. He's tall, smart. And I fell in love with him. I mean, I really fell in love with him. But my father hated him. Told me if I kept seeing him, he'd disown me. Hmm. Romeo and Juliet, classic tragedy. But you kept seeing him despite your father, huh? Yeah. And you kept loving him despite yourself. <laughs> but he didn't love you back. Not the way a princess deserves to be loved. He drinks so much. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> he drinks so much. But when things didn't go his way, he went and got kicked out of college. And he drank. And, and he hit me. Honey, 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 no. Shh. And every time I tried to get away, he would find me. And so I hid in the streets. I don't know. I don't know how I can be so stupid. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. There is nothing stupid about you. Mm. Honey, you about the smartest baby I know. You got out of there early. Mm. Do you know how many women didn't leave, didn't get out early, and that are dead? Mm. Not you. Honey, if you lined up every woman in the world, including Pastor Shirley, who never made a mistake loving a man, that line wouldn't wrap around a cardboard box. I hear you. You hear me? I hear you. Oh, pretty baby. Come with me. Come go with me. Where are we going? Well, I've got a cot and clean clothes and a hot shower with your name on it. How about that? And I'm on my way to go pick up a pizza. You like pizza, don't you? I, we gotta figure out a hotel or something we can put you in because whoa, 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 whoa what, what, what is going on and who are you? Pastor Shirley, she let me in. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I can just leave. Wait, wait, all I ask is who are you? Hey, you. I didn't know you were coming back. If I had, I'd have bought more pizza. Pastor Shirley, what is going on? It's called dinner. People do it every night. I know what that is. I'm saying, who is this lady? I'm Ella. Look, I, I don't want to be any trouble. I, oh, would I, you quit talking about being trouble? You know trouble, only trouble gonna be as trouble as you gonna be in trouble if you keep giving her trouble. Uh, me? I didn't, I, I just got here. What is going on? This is Ella and she needs our help. Okay, our help how? What is it that we're gonna do? Wait, do I know you? Well, you should. Child been sleeping out in the back of the church for the past two weeks. You ought to be shaming yourself. Wait, wait, you're the girl in the window? Nah, nah. Uh, you're, uh, you're you, but you're clean. I mean, uh, you look like you, but you're just a lot cleaner. Thank you. Thank you for noticing my cleanliness, I, I think. So now that she's clean, can we help her? Uh, yes, yeah, of course. The uh, new church is an outreach program, and I'm sure we can help her out with some temporary living expenses, get her into a hotel or a women's shelter or something. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I can't go to a hotel and, and a shelter, he'll find me. I can't, I'm it's sorry. Okay. I it's just, okay, it's okay. No, no, it's me. okay, it's okay. No, you don't have to. You stay right here with us. Um, yeah, look, well, you guys can't stay here by yourselves. That's out of the question. All right, fine, listen, I'll grab some cots out back and you guys can stay in the office, just the two of you guys, and I'll stay in the pew or something. But just for tonight, okay? Only for tonight, because 
This place won't be around here much longer, so don't get used to it. Babe, you're so negative. We still have time to fight. Yeah, you're gonna see a fight when my uncle gets here in the morning. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to meet him. I have a good feeling about this. Don't you have a good feeling about this? I have a good feeling, don't you? Can you feel it? Yes, I can feel it. <laughs> still have time to fight. We still have time to fight. All right, well look, it's getting late, so why don't we break some bread? Well, let's wait. Let's say our prayers first before we. Eat. I thought that was the prayer. All right. Church? And, and who are you? Who is she? Pastor Shirley. She's a pastor? Your pastor? Then who is this? Oh, no, no, she's not the pastor. She's Ella. Ella? I'm Pastor Shirley. I yes. thought she was. No, Ella. no, no. Right. I'm no. Ella. She, no, she's Ella, and I'm Shirley, and I'm the pastor. I'm Ella. Oh, who cares? Hold on a minute. Just hold on. Now, what is going on here? I'm Pastor Shirley. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, uh, they both needed a place to stay last night. I told them they could stay here. I called Pastor Shirley because, uh, I, I don't know. Look, I, look, I know what you're thinking. Oh, do you? No, I, I don't think you possibly could know what I'm thinking. Oh, well, that explains her. What is she doing here? Well, she had no place to go, and she needed our help. Yeah. <laughs> you have such a beautiful church here, and your boyfriend has been so generous to me. Oh, She's not, not my, my girlfriend. boyfriend. <laughs> so you're, uh, you're a pastor, huh? Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. Well, I, I, I've never heard of you. Where, where, um, where, where do you preach? Oh, wherever I'm needed. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you, you married? Nope. Yeah. No. Okay. Children? Not one. <laughs> where do you stay? Well, right now, I'm kind of in between places. I mean, you know, I'm not staying right here, I'm not staying right here. Yeah, so uh, how right many here. books in the New Testament? Oh, really? We gonna do this. Mm -hmm. All right, Pastor. 27. Yeah. What did Jesus tell Zacchaeus was the reason for the coming of the Son of Man? To seek and to save the lost. Ah, hello, honey. You're going to have to do better than that. This is Pastor Shirley. The army of Joshua prevailed against the army of Amalek as long as... Moses kept his arms upheld. What? <laughs> In the Bible. In the Bible, baby. Who did the sun and the moon stand before? Hmm. Joshua. Boom, baby. Boom. You want to play this game? Because mama can play this game. <laughs> oh, bring it, sister. Bring it. Oh, bring it, bring it. Bring it. she don't know who she's messing with. It. Come what? on, come what? on, come what? on. Huh, Aaron, mm -hmm. yes. whose brother was he? Oh. Moses, can I get a what? We... When he huh. took that rod and placed it in the tabernacle, uh -huh. well, what did it sprout? Well, it's, it sprouted. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, hello. 
Yeah, oh, I'm busy writing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, look, I, I, I really don't have time for your shenanigans. I, I have much work to do. But it, uh, is there a problem? Buds, blossoms, and almonds, Pastor. You really didn't know the answer, did you, sir? Uh, Shirley, I am a national recognized pastor. Now, I, I really don't have time for your childish antics. Uh, what, what are you looking at? I'm just waiting for your pants to catch on fire. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not... Uh, yeah, pastor Shirley, is it? Well, listen, we really do appreciate your help, but um, I'm pretty sure we can take care of it. So if you would be so kind as to see yourself out. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to put some clothes on and pack up all my stuff first. Please, by all means, I, let me help you. <laughs> um, I kind of invited her here. here. That's all she, I know, but I, I kind of wanted this to see if she was going to... I wouldn't do that if I were you. Are you okay? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Pastor, you took a really yeah, shy I think your shirt's on fire. Oh, shirt, oh. pants, close enough, Father. Jason, can I have a word with you outside? Uh, I'll be one moment. Jason! <clears throat> I'm rushing. I can't believe it. The word is Mr. Titan is coming here this morning. Wait, this morning? Yes. Did you not listen to a word we spoke last night in the meeting? He is surveying all of the property that he bought in the neighborhood, which means he could be here at any time. I'm so sorry. Look, I have so much on my mind. I totally forgot. Forgive me. Forgive you? I want you to get the two of them out of here, immediately! Unk! No, it's not what you're thinking. Now, if you want your eccentric friend to help with the new church, well, she's more than welcome. And we would be happy to, to help the second guest at the new church. But this building is closed. That means we cannot be okay, here! This is more than a building to me. It's more than a church. It's my home. Always has been. This is the only neighborhood that I've ever known. So forgive me if it's not easy for me to not be here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I love it too. Get them out of here. Hello? We're looking for Pastor Shirley. She said we should stop by. I thought the church was closed. Jason, get them out of here. Uh, no, no, we're, we're not close. Um, how may we help you? Well, my son is a good boy, but sometimes he's a stupid boy, but he's a good boy. Ma? And the reason- Mama, mama! He... I'm a man. Not in the little boy, okay? okay? Remember that. I got Remember. you. You're... Well, Come let me, on, can I man? Come on. Thank you. Okay, so, um, how may we help you? Um, uh, you work here, right? Yes, yeah, I work here. Okay, um, I got a confession. Okay. Uh, okay. So what, we gonna do that here? Huh? We gonna go in the back with the curtains or something? No, like, no we're, um, we're not that kind of church. Oh, okay, so what will we do? Well, um, you can start by putting your hand here and then just confess. Oh. Oh, he said, You're a man, son. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I am, I am a man, that's me. <laughs> Woo, okay, all right, man, man. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, he's listening. Okay, that car outside the other night. I was gonna rob everything up in it, I was. But the police came and got me. They came and got me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I figured that, but it's very brave of you to come down here and tell us all that. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that too. You know, I'm just trying to change everything in my life. Try to be a better man. Man, try to be a better man. You know, that's why the other night I took out the trash without my mama knowing. I did that. You did? I did, I did, I did do that. Yeah, Jason. <laughs> Hold up. Now, it seems 
to me like this man is coming into this church looking for your help. Now, I know you're not telling them they're not welcome, are you, Pastor? Yeah, my, yeah, my mama's sick. Mama got a cough. Do that cough, mama. Do it, do it. <laughs> do it loud, mama. <laughs> yeah, see? Sick. <laughs> Bad. No, no. <laughs> of course not. I mean, at Mount Pleasant, everyone is welcome. Yes. Look, all that matters is that you came down here and told us the truth. It's, it's okay, really. All right, uh... One more easy teasy little thing. What's that? Uh, I brought myself in here the other night. You're the thief! You try to run my oh, friend! Okay? I promise you I got nothing to do with this. At all! Oh yeah? Then if it wasn't you, then who was it? I don't know! Then you were a snitch, Satch. <sighs> Bishop! Bishop! Okay, look. Bishop, I didn't tell nobody, okay, that you robbed the other lady at the church the other day. You talk too much, Satch. I've been watching you no! over here. No, I've, been, I've been watching you. Yeah, I, I saw you coming here yesterday with a cop. Yeah, and now you're back in here again today. But listen. I don't want to hear that. Okay. Everybody have a seat now. Now. Move. <laughs> Lady. Good morning. Brother, you don't scare me. But he scared me. Cause I just did a peep on myself. Satchel? I'm sorry, mama. Oh, Satchel. Oh, I'm sorry, dear mama. I said shut up. I'm warning you. You keep waving that gun in the air, there's going to be a whole lot of slow singing and flower bringing up in this church. Well. Not scared of you. I got the gun in me. Hey, but look. You can't kill us all, Bishop. What you say to me? Sit down. I'll be a man. Mama? Lena? Hey, the TV, Mama, I'm sorry. Listen. Okay, okay, all right, everyone. Okay, stop. This mess stops right now. Are you not gonna bring that mess out there up in here? Jason, sit down. No, 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 you sit. No, I've, I've sat long enough. You are the most bravest cowards I ever met. Boom! Oh! oh, 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 oh I told you not to bring that mess up in God's house. Didn't right. we tell him? Everybody, 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 tell everybody just calm down, calm down. Everything is un under control. Everything. Yes, him, Didi. Pastor, just sit down. I was yes, just sit uh, down. Yes. Oh, Karen, call Detective Michaels. Call him. It's a big one. What do you think you're doing? Calling the police? Madman in the other room, remember? <laughs> no. I mean, what do you think you're doing with Jason? Jason? My Jason. I thought he wasn't your boyfriend. He's not. I was just gonna say that you need to... Listen, Jason is a really sweet guy and all, but trust me on this one, I am not interested in him. You're not? No. But if you are, you better jump up on it quickly before I come to my senses, okay? <laughs> You're joking, right? Pastor Shirley and Jason were there for me when nobody else was. And I'm forever grateful to them for that. Wait, are you the homeless that was... And Jason brought you here to... Oh, girl, we gotta call the police! Mad man in the next room! Exactly. All right, we should tie him up or something before the police get here. Oh, honey, please. You don't have to worry about that. I got that all take, taken care of. What, what don't you keep in that thing? Jesus. Look, Mama, is you okay? Never better, son. You are a hero. Wait, I am? Yes, you are. What do you mean I am? You did a great job, and we couldn't have done it without you. Y'all couldn't have done this without me? No. She's right, man. Thank you, Satchel. Oh, Oh, give me a break. What in the world is going on in here? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Titan. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, uh, I, I, I can explain. Well, 
Well, who in the world are these people? And what are they doing in my building? A church, sir. This is a church. Excuse me? Oh, oh don't, don't pay him any attention. He's uh, just helping me move. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> yeah, what, what happened to you? What? Oh, oh, just a little uh, electrical glitch. <laughs> Oh, but everything is fine now. Just fine. You, you look great. What, are you on a diet? You save the butt kiss pastor. <laughs> I always like to walk around a property before I'm ready to start a project. I like to get the feel of the, uh, the energy of the place. And what do you plan on doing with the energy of this place? Oh, well, I intend to give this area something that it desperately needs. Something that the city has been craving. Mm -hmm. And what would that be? A strip mall. A strip mall. Uh, no, not just any strip mall. This is going to be a shopping district to, to compete with, with New York, London, Chicago. This is going to be the biggest thing this town has ever seen. Wait, you mean like a flea market? Hi, Satchel. Oh, let me see. No one's going to benefit from this. Oh, I disagree. In fact, I'm making uh, Mr. Leland here a very, very rich man. In fact, he broke the deal for these properties. I couldn't have done it without him. Are you proud of this? Well, <laughs> one day you'll, you'll understand, son. You will allow your movers to talk to you like that? Look, this is my father's church. There's still time. Ow, it's over. It's not over. If something is worth fighting for, you never give up, baby. You never give up. Unless a miracle walks through that door, it's over. Ella? Daddy? Daddy. daddy. Baby daddy. <laughs> That'll do. I thought I'd lost you. Where on earth have you been? I, I, I've been combing the entire world trying to find you, girl. I'm sorry, Daddy. I couldn't... Oh, shh, 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 shh. Don't even... It doesn't even matter. I just, I'm so glad I found you. Now that i found you, I'm never going to let you go. Ella is your daughter? How do you know Ella? These people have been so nice to me. They took me in with no questions asked. Is that true? Yeah, well, uh, Mount Pleasant is always one of those places that, uh... Shut up, Leland. I was talking to the young man. Oh, yeah, we all kind of help each other out. Seems to work best that way around here. I was ready to give up, Daddy. And then I met Pastor Shirley. I don't know what I would have done if this church wasn't here. You don't? Then that settles it. The church stays. Woo! S S yes! yes. <laughs> I can't tear down this, this church. Not with what you've done for my daughter. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Mr. Titan, uh, this church is uh, the center of your, your fabulous shopping center. <laughs> I've moved on. Besides, I can build the next big shopping center in Montana. I second that. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. Titan, we, we had a deal. And now we don't. Mr. Titan, you're making a big mistake. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Well, that's fine. Well, you tell your lawyer to call one of my 13 lawyers. Mm -hmm. 13. 13. Deuces, Damon. <laughs> oh, Oh, what a blessing. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you. Uh, excuse me. Is this 1717 5th Street? Shirley? Shirley, get over here. I don't have time for this. I really need to talk to you. Shirley, what is this all about? We need to talk, right Shirley. Look, Shirley, you know I like you, but I got a job to do. You know that. Sh Shirley, is this guy bothering you? Uh -huh. Sir, who are you? Let's just say I'm a friend. No, look, just stay out of it, sweetie. It's okay. Look, 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 look I'm, I'm already involved in all this. Trust me, sir. You don't want to get involved in this. Look, I'm afraid I'm already involved in this. Me too. What? Boy, don't make me. I gotta get involved too. I already undid it. Mm. 
Oh, man, this place is a church house. I must say for on the streets. You got to go through me, too. Look, sir, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm sure we can work it out peacefully. Oh, this is touching. Really touching. So this how you want it, Shirley? Look, guys, honey, thank you so much. You know I love you. And it's because of my love for you that I'm going to tell you, you guys got to stay out of this one. All right? All right, Vinny. Take me to your leader. No. You got to go through me, too. Ella. Daddy, she helped me when nobody else would. What'll it take to get to, 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 to get this done away with? I don't know. She owes my boss a lot of money with interest. It's not going to be easy. How much? 2100 2100 2100 Dollars? Seriously? Um, I would have helped you, but my sister didn't put her child on my income tax this year. Shirley, you know the rules. Hey, how about I give you $3,000? Good Lord. That should be enough to pay for everything and take care of your trouble for having to come down here. We good here? I don't know who you are, but I like how you work. Anytime you need another loan, you know where to find me. Ciao, bello. <laughs> and give that to your boss. <laughs> oh, my babies. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I swear, I don't know how, but I will repay you. Just seeing my little girl safe and sound, that's all the repayment I'll ever need. And as you may understand, my daughter and I, we got a lot of catching up to do. You know, this church is a really good place, Mr. Titan, with really, really good people. Pastor Shirley, good. you're moving. Oh, Not anymore, Yank. <laughs> Peaceful, huh? <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> Look, this church is going to be here as long as it wants to be here, in my opinion. So, the question is, what are you going to do about it? Uh, you don't have to worry about that. We must be gone. <laughs> thank you. No. Sweetie, thank you. When you come back and visit me, can you hear me? I will. <sighs> Pastor Shirley, what were you doing being involved with some business with a guy like that? I him in the back alley and he wanted to invest. Seemed pretty legit to me. Thank you, Satchel. <sighs> All right, look, Satchel, look, help me get this guy up and put him on the pew. Come on. Well, I swear it's about time. Yeah, we done done all the dirty work, so you all yours. Hit him all up in his face. That's Bishop Foley. He's been causing a lot of trouble here for a long time. Yeah. So, uh, is there anything else more we can do for you? Not this time. About the big fish. You should be a lot calmer here from now on. Come on, get up. Get up. Come on. Give me y'all in a few hours. I'm coming for you, you snitch. Hey, 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 not this time. Oh. I want to talk to my lawyer. Let's go. Oh, my mama. That was somebody called my mama. Ain't nothing worse than a mama's boy. Hey, okay. let's go home, son. I'm making your favorite dinner tonight. You mean tell me you're gonna make me chicken with nuggets and raviolis? From scratch? Ooh, wait, mama, can you please make my chicken with nuggets in the shape of the dinosaurs, please? Anything for my favorite hero. Love you, mama. You know I do when you do that, baby. <laughs> Come on, mama. Good night, y'all. Good night. Good night. Well, kids, I think that's my cue. Pastor Shirley, what are you doing? Honey, Jason, you are one of God's lights of the world. An elephant in a room cannot be hidden. Neither can a zit on the nose. Neither do people light a lamp to place it under a bowl. No, they take that lamp and they put it on its stand and allow its light to shine for everybody in the room. Honey, be that light for this community. These people need this church more than you know. Pastor Shirley. Honey, it's time for me to go. No. You got your church back, bad guys in jail, you got the girl. Look, she's not my girlfriend. Oh, here we go again. 
right? About that. Come, you're moving away. I'm moving to the other side of the city, not Mexico. But I believe in you. And I'm dedicated to rebuilding this church with you, right here. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> like I said, you got the girl. This is for you. Nice wedding gift. You all remember to tell that nice Mr. Titan that as soon as I'm settled, I'll make sure he gets his money. Never mind. Matter of fact, I'll write him a letter. Think he'd like that. People don't write letters anymore. I know, but where will you go? Yeah. Oh, I'll be fine. God always provides. I feel... Good things about this place for you, baby. Very good things. Look, why don't you just stay here? All right, you can work out of this office here. I can put a cotton here for you, and anything you want, you can just ask for. I can't stay. It's time for me to move on. Come on. I think you young people can take it from here. Look, by the way, what did you borrow that money for anyway from that guy? I borrowed a hundred dollars from those people. He come up in here talking about I owe him twenty one hundred. Please, it was for my um community service massage business. That's how I got those cards. Got a hundred of them, a dollar a piece. But nobody called it except you all. You were my first clients, and that's the honest to God truth. Kind of a fraud. No, you're not a fraud, okay? And I still need your help. All right, not with the massage part, okay? Because I got a girlfriend for that. But uh, this community still needs a lot of work, and I can use your help. Jason. <laughs> Honey, I just told you I was a fraud, and you still want me to stay? Oh, of course, okay? Please, just say yes and stay. Whatever you want, I'll give to you. All right? Come on, capital P with an early. <laughs> just say yes. Come on. Jason and I could really use you around here. Oh, I can't. I just got too much to do. I don't got that much to do. <laughs> All right, just, just say yes. Please. Okay, fine, fine, you pulled my arm. But you know what, I'm gonna need some new draperies. I'm thinking pink polka dots, cause these folks gonna be looking in on all my glory and I can't have that happening. Are y'all writing this down? Cause the words coming out of my mouth are very important. Right here, I think I need a picture of Jesus. Maybe the Trinity, with a couple angels standing behind it. Maybe a little cherub here and there. Then in this corner, hey, I said I was saying important church, It was gonna be something special about that Pastor Shirley. And I knew Jason was not gonna let this Thank church Jesus. down. Things gonna turn around in this neighborhood, just watch and see. Mr. Potterfield! Oh, you just watch and see. <laughs> 